animals. The snake, when it doesn't see, it's called a Kenyan sand boar and it lives inside the soils. The, sna the snake does not live on the surface, but inside, mm -hmm. it gives birth to live babies and it does not have poison. Oh. So, no so eggs. not every, no eggs, no poison, not every snake gives uh, lay eggs and not every snake is poisonous. Mm -hmm. Okay, in Kenya we also have so many snakes, 140 of them, but that one have poison, the rest of the snakes they do not have poison. And then here, we have this snake here, it's called an egg eater. It feeds only on eggs mm. and they do not use their mouth for feeding, they use their throat. On the throat they have bones, they break the egg, take the yolk and out the shell. It is the snake without teeth, no venom. It is the one they can use as a pet. Even if it gets lost in the house, nothing will happen. Okay. Inside the container it's called a brown house snake. Brown house snake is found in our houses, in our farm. This is the snake we kill daily, assuming we are killing a big snake in the name of Black Mamba. It is the brown house snake. It is the one that comes in our house to steal mice, rats, lizard. So it is behaving like a cat. No venom. Found in our house. So in art, it is the most killed because it's found where people believe snakes should be killed. Snake is a snake. Okay. So the one. Do you, do you, you want to say we should keep them? Actually, snakes are important, you won't believe me, but uh, without snakes, you may miss food to eat because they are they are also helping in the chain of food, the food chain. Without them, the pests are going to be there, they're going to feed everything we have in our farms. We have a snake who only feed on insects, like grasshoppers and every, and you know those ones, they're going to eat the food. So there we remove the snake and then you take it here. Yeah, yeah. Mm, but here we have this one here, that's yeah. And the other one here is another one. The two of them, they are sand snake. This is a yellow belly sand snake, and this is a speckled sand snake. The two, the small one. They don't one, climb walls. Huh? They cannot climb up here. So the two, this one is uh, more venomous compared to this, but they're all mild venomous. These ones, their poison will not kill us, but that one, let's say you have your own issues, immune problem or whatever, mm -hmm. death can happen, but you're not supposed to die from the two because it's a mild venomous venom. Does mm -hmm. not even have a specific venom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have chameleons. They change color to look like the environment. Like the leaves, this is like uh, just arrived from the stick, which looks like the stick. So chameleon, they are animals who are the most wealthy of them all. How? Their eyes, when they look in front, they can see behind the same time. Their eyes have ability to zoom an object. When they see a small thing, they can see it big as a bird. And then chameleon, um, they can see as far as 10 meters away. That's why in your hand, you want it to change color. It cannot change because 10 meters around is not itself. Their tongue is long, very fast, and it has glue on top, on the tip, because they feed on something like a housefly who jumps the whole day so they cannot stay hungry. God gave them the glue on top. Everything you see on an animal or on, an, on a plant, it's because they need it. If you don't need it, you won't be born with it. And then the biggest factor is they change color to come up with, to hide, to blend in with the nature, to hide from the enemy. Who is the snake? So snakes, they were not given the ability to see properly. Camilo not given ability to blend in with the environment. So you can see if nature is fair. Whoever stays hungry, whoever is eating is upon you. Now here we have this one. Now I'll teach you to identify the venomous snakes. The snake, the head shape is strangled, the stomach is fat, tail short, body rough, they look short and stubby. Kiswahili call them kijana fupi no no atari. This snake uh, is venomous. Every snake in this world with those features, not just triangular head, don't look at the triangular head. You look the whole body. Triangular head, two, fat stomach, short tail, rough body, they look short and stubby. That's a viper. All viper are venomous. So this one is one of the viper dangerous it, it is the one with the longest fangs when they bite you it is not here it is deeper in your skin and their pupil is rod shape a human pupil is circled cool. they are active during the day the pupil yeah. now cat eye is the pupil is rod shape they are active at night so these ones too you look at the eyes you can see they're active at night you can use the eyes of an animal and know when day or night they're going to be active this is one of the viper here there's another snake, short tail, rough stomach, I mean short tail, 
a bit fat stomach, the head is strangled, the body is rough, they also look short and stubby. This is a Mount Kenya bush viper. Same as that one, but different again. In the whole world, it's also found in Kenya. They are somehow getting like extinct. They are trying to revive the population of this animal. I think last year or last year, but one, there were less than 10 of them. That means they are getting extinct. The main factor an animal can get extinct on earth is destruction of the habitat. We don't have uh, dinosaurs because their land had earthquake. We do not have... Um, if we ban the world, no genius, no fool will survive. Destruction of habitats makes animals get extinct. So people in Mount Kenya should stop cutting down the forest. The plants are there, the ecosystem, the biome, the, the nutrients and everything. That is what this animal needs. The adults to lay their eggs on a certain environment for the babies to be born. Without that environment, if we take them somewhere, it's going to be hard for them to survive. So, so maybe this exists ten years only in Kenya. In Kenya. Mm -hmm. So yeah, maybe ten years from now you may not see it anymore. There is that probability unless we really revive their population. Mm -hmm. And population only comes from the children born, not from the adults and sisters. Mm -hmm. Here we're supposed to have a, mo a monitor lizard in English or a monitor lizard in Kiswahili of Kenya. <laughs> I can't see it, but when somebody calls you Kenya, it comes. I mean, you're ugly. They actually feel like so maybe you're lazy, maybe you're a, a gambler. It is somewhere. Somewhere wow. inside there. This one, these are vipers as well. Eh? Again, now you can see that these things are making sense. This is a puffada, the snake that will puff for you. When they see you coming, they'll not run away because they are keeping way for you to come. They believe they camouflage with the environment. They believe they look like the nature. They are venomous. So their high esteem is very high. Self high esteem is high. They'll never pave way for you. It's you to identify them. And it's like, keep off. Uh, it is you to know when the king is coming and you keep off the road. So that is what they mean. So this animal being a viper again, triangular head, fat stomach, short tail, rough body, kijana fupino no atari, short and stubby. All of them are going to be active at night, all vipers. Or oh, most of them, they're going to lay egg to give birth to baby, except maybe so skilled carpet viper, they can lay eggs, but the rest are going to give birth to live children. The first one, the fat one, the Gabon is can, can give like 30 children, but this one can give to 70 children at a go. Mm -hmm. Once, 70 kids coming out. And remember, the children are going to be more venomous than the parent because the children are like, I've seen you, you want to attack me, I have to protect myself. The parent is like, I need this poison to keep some for tomorrow. What if I'm not satisfied with the food or whatever? So I need something to hunt. They calculate on what to use the poison for, but the kid, they use everything. Now, their first aid, all of them, you see, they're venomous. Their poison is called cytotoxin. Toxin for cells, cytocells. Their poison just kills the cells. Their poison behave like fire. When you burn yourself here, your whole body will not die. This part will die. You will swell, feel a lot of pain, blood and not will come out. Cells will die and rot. That's what's happened when they bite you. Mm -hmm. When they bite you, most viper, minimum time they're going to give you six hours. That is breakfast to lunch. Maximum hours, maybe one day, two day. Uh, that's a one day, one day, one day, one day, two day, even one week, sometimes a month, you're going to feel something very strange happening in your body. Now, but you're going some, you don't even, nothing may happen to you. Maybe the poison is so weak, you're still going to be very fine now. When they bite you, their first aid, do not tie. Mm -hmm. People know that uh, when a snake bites you, you're supposed to tie. Yeah. These ones do not tie. Why? Their poison acts on a central place. It is not systemic, the whole body. Mm -hmm. So when you when you tie, the whole poison remain there. They work of the poison to kill cells. They die, they rot. When you reach the, to the doctor, they'll have to amputate you. So poison of snake is too. It's either you die or you get amputation because the part of the body. So it's either the whole body dies or a part of the body dies. This one part of the body dies. You're going to be very merciless. For a kid, she had a bite, he had a bite and you tie. That means the whole hand will be chopped. Or they're going to be healed and then in future, maybe the bones can start to grow deformed. Because of the power of the poison, it can now affect the cells, the 
it can affect the cells and sometimes it can go more to affect your bones which i don't understand in the part of the bones because it's supposed to be affecting cyto cells these ones when you go to places like wajir in kenya the drug parts will see people with a half hand half finger half whatever you are going to see those big scientists the pathologists you can see them maybe a half of the finger is cut because of them or maybe a body part was cut because they did the wrong first aid Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's the African tortoise, leopard tortoise. They have a lifespan others of 80 years. Sometimes uh, others they can live for 100, 150 years. Now these animal in the land they can live for 100 years. You know, compound three months the animal is dead. Why? Mm-hmm. This animal in their skin, in our skin we have something called nerve ending. Is the reason? Is this person filming my face? You make it blur. I'll remove my face, right? Yes. Yeah, you don't want me to be seen in a billboard in America. <laughs> <laughs> Now, when, I, when in your skin you have something called um, nerve ending. It's the reason when somebody touches you, you respond. Yeah. The shell of a tortoise also has nerve ending. Right now we find the one which is sleeping like that one, facing the other end, and you touch them. You see them putting the hand and the shell inside the shell. Mm-hmm. I saw somebody was washing a, a tortoise with a toothbrush on the shell at the back, and then the tortoise was giggling mm. because they feel the sensation, they feel tickling. So that means this shell is not a hard stone. It has feelings. It can feel pain. From today, you do not hit them, kick them, lifting, dropping mm. them, washing them with a brush. They will feel pain all over. Mm. Fail to eat, get weak and die. This, I compare it with your stomach. Yes, your, your stomach is soft. You can touch it. It's, it's, uh, it can bend in. Mm. Your head is hard, but when you hit it, you feel pain. Mm. Yeah. So take your head as they do. Okay. Mm. This one is um, an um, African rock python. Now, there are those insects that you'll see them on your bulb when it is very rainy. Mm. And when it's not rainy, you don't see those insects on your bulb anymore. Mm. That explanation brings it here. This animal, African rock python, it only comes out when there is rain. And when it's dry, it's going to stay in one place, especially for several months. Too. Okay. Now, it's the reason why most people in the world believe this is a god of rain. You see them, you see rain, you see a bumper harvest, a happy community, healthy community, god of rain. Most of them, they'll give it goats, cows, be- and rice, me- milk, um, hen. Now this one it only feeds on mammals. Mammals is human being, me, you, cow, goats. Yeah. Deer, but the rest now they cannot eat. So I don't know where those hen used to go then because they can't eat and they can't eat the raw rice. Now this animal, they the one they call it Omeri, the god of rain for the lower people. Mm, Omeri. This animal, they do not have poison. They are the cousin of anaconda. Anaconda has poison and they do not. Mm-hmm. They can grow, others can grow 6.8, others can grow 9.8 meters, but there is the one which was found three months ago, it was 12 meters long, that's how long they can grow. Mm-hmm. They're the most dangerous one because when they guy, get you, swallow you, nobody will trace you because you are in its stomach. They have the ability to track an animal, they take the smell of the animal, put it on its feet receptor, wait until nice. When they can hear less vibration, mean human is asleep, the enemy. They can use the smell and track where the god went. Find it, constrict it, kill it. When they constrict, they aim at your stomach because your stomach is next to your duff from or on the on the neck. Where they can just squeeze you, you suffocate to die. But people believe that when they're squeezing you, they're actually breaking your bone. That snakes are animals who are very wise. They use brain, they don't use energy. Mm-hmm. This animal again, their eyes are very powerful. They can see things a human eye cannot see. They can see your temperature. They can see you at night as clear as if it's daytime. They can see they can see the radiation, they can see the they can see um, colors that that computer can only detect. They have that ability. And the ability of seeing you at night as clear as if it's daytime and they can use their eyes to even know that you are a, a living thing or an unliving thing. Stone or lemon. Very dangerous. 
Now you are not supposed to be having depression, walking along river with a depression and you are calming down. They will swallow you, nobody mm-hmm. will yeah. find you. Yeah. Now, supposed to have a snake in this one the at one. the back. It's red in color. So not every snake can spit poison. But cobras are of two species. One of the species can spit poison and the rest cannot. They are called spitting and unspitting cobra. This is a spitting cobra, red spitting cobra. On the glass there, they have spit on the glass. Over here. Those things you see, that is the speed. So this is the smallest aggressive cobra and very accurate when they spit. They spit in your eyes. All spitting cobras, they spit in your eyes. The snake was born, never seen a human being since the day she was born. And the first day they're going to see, they're going to spit direct in your eyes. That means they know what they're doing. They will spit here, not here. Just here so you can go blind. It is also the only snake that bites people even when people are asleep at night. So this snake, you're going to find it in Taisasaveta, in Tika, in Embu, in Meru. When they bite you, when those people who live in those places sleep inside a mosquito net. Because they bite people even when you are asleep. They come into a compound, found you are asleep and then bite you and then go. Then this one is an Egyptian cobra. Egyptian cobra, when you see this thing, when you do something, the snake is somehow responding, or ever, but it has not been very aggressive, it's still morning. It's supposed to create a hood and such. But when I count down and do nothing at all, it's going to just like get down and just do its own thing. Now, in every movie, you'll always see a snake doing this. When they stand this one, they're talking to you. They're telling you, I'm ready to fight. Mm-hmm. Snake is here, and I'm here, and the snake is standing in this pos- My height. position. Not even a height, even if it's slow, but that that position. It's an aggressive, ready to fight. There's snake, and here I am. You have to back off. Go backwards. If you move an inch ahead, they will strike. Knowing you have understood they want to fight. I don't know, in no, fight no, you want to or whatever. So they don't care you are not capable. They just believe I sent your signal. Do not comply. Yeah, and then you complied because you moved ahead your leg. That means you have crossed the line. You are ready to do it. This one is called Egyptian cobra. There is a country called Egypt that was Queen Cleopatra. She was in war with the Romans. They were to kill her, torture her. The lady took this one to kill herself. Why? This snake has a poison called neurotoxin. When neurotoxin gets in your body, it affects your nervous system. You do not feel pain. You've seen somebody fainting when they bite it. You faint. You feel sleepy. You just faint. Then you die. You die, yeah. You just feel thirsty, weak, tired, you want to sleep, and that's how you die. That's why the lady used this one instead of her enemy to use torture to kill her, to serve mm. as a as an as a example. an example for others. So it's an Egyptian cobra. You have it along like Victoria on the beaches I saw one along rivers and lakes you may see them. I don't know. Looks so masculine, very masculine. Eastern forest cobra. You've heard the snake, they can stand tall like a human being. This is the cobra that they, they grow 2.7 meters long. They can raise their 2 meters, that is maybe here, past here, right? Leaving 0.7, just the tail on the ground. And you can see they're full of muscles. Instead of biting you, they show you aggression. You get afraid, you go back, and then you show kicho kicho, you go ahead. They will bite and kill. Now, black mamba is the worst snake. They bite you maybe 10, uh, 15, 20, 30 minutes you're dead. Number two is this one. Eastern forest cobra. Rarely bites. Look at the position of this animal. They know human will pass here and start maybe distracting it. And then they, they ignore you by facing the other end to let go of you. To ignore you so they don't concentrate on you so they can get... They can feel threatened or anything. They are very, they rarely bite. They will see you and run away. They are not like vipers. They are going to wait for you. You come, you step on them, they ambush. And that's why when you go in the forest, walk in the forest, you need to put on plastic gumboots because of the vipers family. They will ambush. When they ambush, they'll not jump on your neck. They'll jump on your leg. How do you feel them? There's a door there. And then there's a snake handler. He just open, put in food. And then they, they have to chase the animal. If it's alive, they have to chase it. Then putting the poison on the animal. The animal dies and then they come and eat it. 
yeah. if you put yeah. in a dead one, they will do this on the animal. The animal does not move. They just stay away from it. They do not want to eat a dead animal. We see their ways. You don't know what killed it. It may kill me. You refrain. Rather stay starving than eat something that is uh, compromised. Yeah. And juvenile brown eating cobra and an adult brown eating cobra. And the other one wants to share its bathing. Well, the one in the water wants to mm -hmm. share. Now, big body, bigger head, bigger container that holds poison. Brown spitting cobra, we have them in the coastal parts of Kenya. They are there to spit poison in your eyes so you can go blind because they really don't want to bite you. They are very mean. Most snakes are so mean to use their poison because making poison is not easy. It's a very hectic thing. You may stay maybe the whole month without getting food and the nutrients and the exercise and everything. For you to just come and waste it, not. Now, this animal, the bigger head, the bigger container that holds poison, when they spit in your eyes, they can repeat two to three minutes in your eyes so you can go blind. They have so much, so they're very generous. When they bite, they're going to give you double portion of poison again because they have so much, they're very generous. Their generosity is because they expect you're going, it's really going to, to give the results they desire. When you cross the road, it's very big. You just put your break, allow it to pass, and then now, <laughs> You don't go along Savo Road, you see a big snake like this crossing, and then you just step on their tail. Very big body like this. Will they be able to die? No. So why the, the pain you've given them? What are they going to do with it? Let them just chase the car, maybe. This is the snake I saw chasing a certain car, getting in and biting the people because they provoked it. And they say they are wise. They know what they are doing. Even the Bible said, be as wise as a serpent, don't be as cunning as them. This animal, they're actual cunning and they're very wise. And they know their people. So this snake used not to be in Nairobi, but right now it's a growing species in Nairobi. Black necks, spitting color. They have a black band on the neck, but you have them in Ololua. You have them in Tanzania, Uganda, Burundi, Senegal, so many places, Angola. Now, this snake, look at the environment. Dry wood, dry piece of wood. Dry old trees that are very dry until the tip is dry, and then you see a tree with a big protruded root. Don't be sitting there. Tree with a big protruded root. Don't be sitting there, especially in a deserted place. Mm -hmm. These are the homes for such a thing. Now, when a snake spits poison in your eyes, you don't use milk. Milk is protein, your eyes are protein, their poison is acting on the protein. What is done with the little protein you use there? Yeah? The left poison is still very powerful, it's still going to eat your eyes, and that's why they have a gray, gray people. Now, when a snake bites you, when a snake spits in your eyes, get like four jugs of water, lean your head, open the eyes, pour a bottle, one, two, three. You'll have the last one, the last one. Wash your face because when a snake spits, they spit straight and then it showers on your face. So the last jug, wash your face. When you're done, get something, cover your eyes, go to the hostel, you're going to have 90% recovery. You just this use water. Use water because water dilutes the poison. This is a python like the one you see there. And then here we have the green mambas. Green mamba, mamba that is green in color. Look at the head of this animal. You're not done with the cobras and the vipers. Up close at the mirror. Is really on top, oh. on top of the other rock inside there. Okay. So green mamba, look the one that is flowing downwards. The head is a bit longer, shape of coffin, and the mouth is all smiley. So that means when they open the mouth, it's not this way, it is this way. They chew in your skin, though they have fangs at the, at the forefront. Now, green mambas, smiley mouth, coffin shaped head, green in body. They can grow 2.5 meters long. Mambas are going to be big in body, in length. In width, it's a reasonable width. Length, 2 meters going upwards. This plant here, it's called coconut tree. It's found in the coastal parts of the world. Mm. Green mambas are supposed to be found in places where we have like a beach, warm temperature mangrove. That climate where coconut trees can grow. We do not have green mambas in Nairobi. What you have are the green snake and all the groups of snakes that are green in color. But green mambas are found in the coast. And every snake in this world that has smiley mouth coffin shaped head is a mamba. 
Are they very dangerous? Coffee shaped head when the bite are supposed to die get in the Dangerous. That means uh, These are natural salts are called terrakin, black in body. Daytime, they're in the water, in the rivers and lakes, looking for fish to feed. Night, they're on the bushes to sleep. Their shell is just like a vest. It's not like that of a tortoise. The tortoise shell is like a cover, a tent. When there anything happens, they can retrieve everything in the shell. But these ones, when anything happens, the head is going to stick outside, so they have to tilt the head like that one there. That's how they sleep. Just tilting the head to an angle because it cannot get inside. It's just like a vest. You cannot put your cover and head in a, in a vest. They are carnivores. They are black. These are the ones you should be knowing them the most rather than turtles because most part of Kenya is in the rural where we have rivers and lake bordering them. These are where, this is what we have in our places. But mm -hmm. you know, the one that is in the beach, imagine people in Kisi know turtle, knows a turtle. Yeah. They don't know a, a turtle. And this is what is ours. It's, in, in, it's closer to us. Mm. Even in Ujaluon, in land, Bungoma, Kisumu, we have them almost all over. These ones are Nile crocodile. Looks like a very shed and two feet. This is the Nile crocodile. This is a Nile crocodile. This is a Nile crocodile. This is more than 15 years. Yeah. And then this one here is going to be an American alligator. More than 59 years old in this cage. Now the two of them, this one is black in color. They are found in America and China. The head is broad, the teeth are inside the mouth. The tip of the mouth is new shape. And this one's where the head is thin, the teeth fall outside the mouth, and the tip of the mouth is V-shaped, the color is only gray, only thin. The two of these animals inside their stomach, they have a lot of acid. It's one of the reasons when we eat meat from crocodile, most uh, restaurants are going to be given the tail part. Tail going down, it's not going upwards. Most of these parts upwards may be affected with the poison because it has a pH of two, which can digest everything, including metals and iron. And that's why they do not need grinding teeth. They do not need a tongue. They don't have such. They get an animal, chop, swallow. Good to go. This acid is the reason when they get a wound, it heals very fast, mm -hmm. and also is the reason that their cells they will never age. They are young forever. Forever. These are the turtles. They have some colors. The ears have a red mark, red ear turtles, and because they are reptiles, they are shading color, and then they have the greenish, creamish, and now they are found in the sea. Any water that has salt is a sea, so these are turtles that are found there. Turtles, a moment, let me. The steps are just like the ones we have in our kidney, but now oh, that they crave it for us, they have magnoreceptor acting magnetic. Relating to the magnetic field of the earth, mm. yeah. they can detect the longitudes and the latitudes, equators. They can use the moon to move from here to Mombasa and also maybe trace their way back home. That's how when you get lost in the in the ocean, you do not see the beach where it is. You just see like something surrounding you, the world. You can't see your way out. But for them, they can know where the beach is. They come lay their eggs there, get lost in the world, in the ocean, and then some days again get back there. I remember in the ocean there are no there are no landmarks. Skin at the back, skin, actual skin, they are also very thin in this world. The shell is heavy and um, very heavy and it's attached with hands. 
So let's say give you a bag of maize in your back, I throw tear gas, and then I tell you that mm -hmm. how far can I go? Same to them when they're on land like that, they can they become a his easy hunt because the shell is so heavy and then it's attached to his hand. When there's danger, they're just like walking like there, like to salamanders or whatever, and then the enemy is easy to catch on them, kill on them. When you see them along rivers and lake, don't take them home thinking you're merciful enough. Mm -hmm. Because at home it's going to eat well and then it will die as well in it. When you leave it there and it survives, it can leave maybe 10 young ones behind before it grows to revive their population. Which is good. So, three things. Three things that are um, feed on vegetables, fruit, every fruit. So if you have it in a compound, if you have a tortoise in your compound, most people have so many meats relating to this animal and they have no meat, which tells them that this animal have a right to exist. They're just like humans. Some are uh, thugs and some are pastors and then some are just some people existing here and there. Every animal that you see on earth has its own reason to exist. And they have their own importance. Just like the way every feature you see on an animal, it is very... There is no way the creator creates a, a chameleon. Put a glue on top of it because they knew chameleon walks slow and the food they eat is running all the way. And then you just come and now put your meat more ahead to, to counter the, the work of the one who created them. They have a very important reason in this ecosystem. Actual visions, they stayed almost very long, more than 100 years. They can even tell us the changes in the climate through through carbon dating system using their body. They can tell us what has been happening, the chemicals that have been deposited that are on air and all that, just using their body. And then you're just there, you don't know how important that thing is, just kill because your meat is so strong. You will die when they are dead. Even the fact that uh, climate change is really affecting us is because some of very important animals and insects and bacteria died, which their function is very important in acting to cover something for us. Google my remember. Sharp head, coughing, smiley mouth. Now, who will have fought fights a member like this? Who on earth can fight a member that way? Members are the animals who are in the higher, they are in the, they, they are higher animals. Even lion cannot fight them. So who fought them? Their own community. Why is it not dead? They fight each other, give extreme wounds to each other, but they will not deposit the poison on each other. Mm. That is extreme against their own communities. Let's see, this one but, is wounded. Yeah. It must be a member that was fighting it. Because if it was a cat, then the cat died. Hey. These, when they bite you, 10 minutes, 15, if you're an animal with a small body. Even the lion did not took long in that video. They start having like a seizure and then they died. So this is the black number, the longest venomous snake you have in Africa. Venomous? Most venomous. Most venomous. People is circles, so they're going to be active during the day. At night, you're going to see them walking around using their senses to help them the most. Very fast in movement. They can grow three to four meters. Mambas, black mamba, smiley mouth, coffee shape shape. See the beginning of the mouth. Can you see the color standing black and going inside? Mm. Now, when they open the mouth, you say the mouth is very black. Outside is not black at all. And they're very long, actually. Can go, the smallest one there, if it's stretched, it's more than two meters plus. And the adults can go three meters, four, four point one, the longest. Now, black mamba, most venomous because of three factors. When they bite you, they will not bite you once. They're going to bite you several. One, two, three. Rarely bite, but when they do, several times, one, two, three. One bite, double portion. For the green mamba, they're going to give you like 60 milligrams. And these ones are going to give you 120 milligrams per, per. Per bite. Per bite. So mm -hmm. that is double for each in comparison to the, its fellow mamba, green mamba. Now double three times times three and then they're going to give you neurotoxin where you don't feel pain. That's why people die quickly because 
for the vipers when they bite you your cells are dying you feel lots of pain that is one of the symptoms these ones you do not feel pain most people die because they think maybe a wood just scratched on them that's why they have the drop of blood they won't think it was the snake because you don't feel pain but then after a while you feel like you can't breathe in and out that's then then that's go how you go so let's say you are digging you're climbing down the mountain 30 minutes Less than 30 minutes, 20 minutes you can be gone because your blood was so active, it was moving faster in your system. That's what I'm telling you when you get a bite, calm down. You've never heard somebody was beaten by snakey and fall down that minute. It takes time. Why? The poison needs to move from this part, which is not that deadly, mm -hmm. to the vital organs, brain, heart, kidney. When they die, you die. So those people will die faster when they're very active because the poison will be pushed moving faster, faster to those regions. Another mamba. Round people, coffee-shaped head, smiley mouth, body is greenish, the neck is a bit yellowish or orange, and then the tail is black in color. This is Jameson mamba. We have it in Kakamega Forest. We have it in Uganda. We have it even in the Eastern African, Western, part, Eastern, Western African parts of the world. Mm -hmm. Jameson mamba. I named the forest. Look at the body. It looks like leaves. Now, Jameson mamba. Is the snake that they call a flying snake. All mambas they move very fast, they just shoot like a shooting star. Let's say you are in a big forest. This one they can shoot from a tree to another, that's why they call it flying snake. But it's not like tree down to up, it's a tree up to uh, natural. Now, when they all mambas, every snake that has coffee shot to smell mouth has bite someone. Get a belt, you know, especially the, the the fat fat belt for ladies, those which can a bit stretch. Get a belt, try on top of the bite. On top, get a I had a bite here. Get a handkerchief, throw it there. Get a, a, a belt, tie. Don't say like or strangle the hand to die. Tie close to protect the poison. Well, when you're done tying properly do not untie to tie well afterwards very wrong mm -hmm. when you tie the poison moves from this line to the surroundings mm -hmm. when you untie a moment the poison showers off in your body that's why those people who go to the hostel and the doctor unties this place before they've given you the mask for breathing and they've given you the drip dish which is diluting your blood mm. they die there because now the body is showered with the poison. the poison so when you tie nobody including doctor and then the doctor will give you injection afterwards they're going to be okay so they have a fast aid and they have antivenom mambas plus the non-spitting mambas non-spitting cobblers tie the spitting cobras do not tie because they have a, a symptom of cytotoxin that's why when they spit in your eyes you feel pain but if it was only neurotoxin and they spit in your eyes you're not supposed to feel pain because the nerves are supposed to die you feel numb we have some fish go see fish no only eating eating <laughs> we eat fish Oh, we have fish there in the, in the aquarium. Oh, that's what I'm saying. We only like eating them.